Hey everybody, it's me, and here is another use of compound actions in Glide. Are we still calling them compound actions? I think David just wants to call them actions, but whatever. Uh, so here is how to gate information or gate uh, content based on membership using compound actions. So here I have a list of videos, and only select amount of videos are free. Some of them you have to pay for. So the setup here is I have an inline list, and this inline list has a column called status or membership type or something like that, where I have pro or free. And so then I have an if then else column, which is displays a little lock here if it is uh, pro content or if it's free, then there's no lock here at all. Also, it checks to see if you are a free member, a pro member. So that if then else looks something like this. So if you are a pro member, then it doesn't display any icon. If the otherwise, then it checks the content. If the content is pro content, then display the lock. Otherwise, display nothing. So right here, I have five free videos that the users can watch. So there are no locks here. And then it's also checking for my membership type. So since I am not a pro member yet, um, it displays the locks. All right, that pro membership is a relation based off of a Zapier. So here is my user data, and it's checking to see whether or not uh, there is a relation between my user email and then the subscription emails. So here is the email relation. Uh, it built the relation, checking for the status, making sure I haven't terminated my account. And if it's success, then I'm a pro member. Otherwise, I am a free member. All right, and I'm using this information in my compound action. So here's how the compound action works. In my uh, content screen, I also have here a subscription link. This subscription link determines uh, the URL that the user will go to to pay for subscription. And I'm also grabbing a template column to see my membership status. So currently I am a free member. And so I have a template column here that just fills out my status. For pro members, you see that it shows pro member. And because I'm a pro member, the locked icon went away. But this user is not a pro member. They are a free member here. And so here is the compound action that makes the magic happen in the app. So in my inline list, I go to features. I create a compound action here, and I have a conditional access for three different scenarios. First, if access is free, meaning that the video content is free content regardless of membership status, then it lets you view the details of that content. Next, if my user membership includes the word pro, so I'm a pro member, right? So if my membership status, and again, that's that template column that fills in the information from my user profile. If it contains pro, then I can also view the details because I'm a pro member, I should be able to see it. Otherwise, if the content is paid content and I am not a pro member, then instead of viewing the details for the inline list, instead I open a web view with the subscription link. And so what that looks like here for a free member is that if it's a free content, you see that there's no lock icon and I can open it up and I can view the details for the content. However, if I am a uh, free member and it's pro content signified by the lock here, if I go to access it, instead of viewing the view details, instead I get access to the subscription plan here. And again, I'm using pay here. Um, it's a wonderful, um, gate payment gateway that works really well in web view component and see how clean it looks here in web view. They can enter their information, blah, blah, blah. And once they fill that in, then I have a zap running that fills in a spreadsheet column with my app subscriptions. And then here's the email address that it's using to match. And so you see that here's the email and the status is success, meaning that they are a active member. If I were to cancel or their subscription runs out, then this ch gets changed to canceled or terminated, I believe. And then uh, it runs that if then uh, condition to hide the content once again. So again, just so you see it, once I become a paid member, then you see that now all the like icons go away and I can access the content freely. And uh, if I am a paid member, but my subscription runs out, 
So let's just change this to something other than success, maybe canceled. I'm not sure exactly what the terminology is, but it's not success. Canceled, I'll go back to my workouts here. Um, and now I should see that I have locked content. I can no longer access my content. I have to resubscribe. All right. So again, a really interesting use case for compound actions, again, to make your apps even more dynamic. Thanks for watching.